Good morning. Today is September 5th, 2022. And I have a game for you here that's a really interesting game. Now, it's not the best game uh, in the world. Basically, there's certain blunder, but that's what makes it fun. This is called Bluffing the Queen. As you can see over here, this pawn over here is basically uh, uh, insufficiently defended because he got a rook and a queen attacking the pawn and I just put the pawn over there so let me show you the puzzle situation this is the first puzzle situation white has just moved the knight to e2 what is best response All right, so that's uh, first position. Here is the second position. White has just moved the pawn to c4. What is the best response? All right, so that's the second position. This is this is the first, this is the third position and white has just moved the queen from d uh, from d2 to f4 and this probably a spoiler but you've seen my response but this is the first third puzzle what is black's response All right, so let's begin the game. Now this is a normal opening for me and usually what I do over here is move the pawn over here to this square over here so right there so that's what I usually do I do not do it this one over here this is the two knot variation yesterday was the two piece of variation this is the two knot variation so uh, let's get a move on and to be honest this is not a good position for me you can see that what has developed all the pieces very well so pawn here is really strong and I don't have a lot of attacker here so I'm in the worst position over here let's move and this is a trick over here bishop is attacking this pawn and the net is guarding this pawn so by kicking the net out I can take the pawn next move and the uh, computer flex this as a mistake uh, that's fine uh, I like you know I like basically imperfect games and again that is useless I don't know why so many people play that move but that kind of thing is useless And this is the second puzzle position, and you want to see what's you know what's the situation here. Basically, you have this attack twice, and this is defended twice. I mean, three times over here, so it's not really a big deal. Now the computer actually suggests this thing over here, over here, and that's basically attack this pawn right here, but as long as the king is still here and the queen is still in the ducks square over here I don't feel like attacking that pawn over there the option of 
of course is that the king net move here net move here and the pawn has passed so basically the knight will have to attack will have to spend some tempo attacking this knight so that gives me an advantage long term advantage but an advantage nonetheless so let's see what happened and this is to my advantage really basically white bishop is locked cannot go here and of course that's locked so the only thing white bishop can do is move over here but that's also locked over here so by doing it this way I basically just lock the bishop over here next move This is typical movement. Actually, this is not dangerous because, as you can see, the pawn here has moved. So, what can attack the king this way? So, this is actually rather dangerous for, for me to move there. Next move. And, of course, that's a free pawn, basically. The computer basically says go ahead and take the knight but where's the fun in that let's play the game dangerously and check and move and this is the uh, uh, no wait a minute this is the basically the puzzle over here but this suddenly becomes No, this is the third puzzle. Okay, this is the puzzle over here, and suddenly this becomes very interesting. As you can see, this is the puzzles, this the, the puzzle position, and in the title screen, I should this move right here. And as you see, this is attacked twice, defended once, and this is a bluff. White's not supposed to take that pawn, and sure now black this black did take the pawn so i'll just take that one over here and attack that one now alternatively uh what can take it with the rook it doesn't matter because i'll just take the pawn over there with the queen anyway although if i did that it's probably going to obvious what's going to happen next so capture check and I just fuck the king and the rook and that's the point of this thing so one of the move of the pawn over here and it's only two moves right uh, so combination into uh, black to win in two moves after that what we sense came over thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow